Hello, is anyone there? Yes, hello. This is Triton Peniel Electric. A woman's voice is crackling. Yeah, I can hear it. Have you come to place an order? Wait, but what happened to Slipstream SCA? There's no Tricentennial Electrics on the list. Yeah, hold on. Tricentennial Electrics? I thought this was calling Slipstream SCA. My God. The lieutenant exchanges a look with you. Uh, sorry? It's you. My God. I didn't think I would hear your voice here. It's a woman, and she knows you. Your heart beats faster. She must be mistaking you for someone else. Um, do we know each other? Michelle, just please. My name? <laughs> Sounds like a ghost. Wind blows through your clothes and you feel detached from your surroundings. Inside the building, a cold memory hangs. Why did you even call? I don't understand. You've been gone for months. I thought you didn't care. Uh, hold on, hold on. Tell me what's going on. What did I do? Ever since I came to here, it's been different. As if my mind's been wiped clean. A spot of static overrides her words. When she speaks again, it sounds like she's submerged. It's so nice. Hmm. It's so nice to be able to finally speak again. Forget about what? She sounds like she's about to cry. The cold is deep under your skin, as if you were talking to someone who's a hundred years away. Somewhere inside the building, water is flooding the cellar floor. Hello? She doesn't answer. Hey, are you still there? Silence. The only thing you can hear now is static and waves washing ashore on the bay. Uh, what just happened? Another seagull passes by. It's getting cold standing here, staring at the silent call box. I don't know what happened either. We should probably stop playing with this thing. All right, it's a goodbye then. You press the number sign on the keypad that terminates the call. Ooh. Twelve name cards on the call box read. Yeah, I need to fortify myself if I want to try again. No. No. Hold on. The last thing you need in your life is more hysteric emotions. Forget it. Find something else to do. <laughs> Whatever she says, it can't hurt you. You're a different person now. Stronger, healthier, and all right. Maybe not healthier, but it's a bonus that you've drunk so hard you can't remember any of your past relationships. Oblivion's the ace in your corner. Call her again. There's a light buzz as you press the doorbell, waiting for her to answer the call. It's cold outside, and you can hear the wind blowing into the speaker. A strange metallic taste fills your mouth as you stare at the intercom. There's the static again, whispering like a seashell pressed against the air. Yes, hello. This is Tricentennial Electric. Have you come to place an order? Last time we talked, there was some confusion. You got me mixed up with someone else. My God. Here come the bad vibes again. Relax. Distance yourself from it. Please don't hang up. I just want to explain myself. It's you. My God. I didn't think I would hear your voice again. Wait. Is she... Didn't you already say that the last time we talked? Michelle, just please. Even her breathing, the way her voice drops when she finishes the sentence, sounds exactly the same. Why did you even call? I don't understand. You've been gone for months. I thought you didn't care. It doesn't matter what I say, you're just going to continue, right? The voice from the intercom doesn't answer, but you can hear her breathing. Wind blows into your microphone again, crackling and echoing in the box. Your hands are getting cold and your breathing becomes visible, forming small silvery puffs in the air. Is it over? Can we talk now? Ever since I came to 
Say nothing. It's so nice. It's so nice to be able to finally forget about you. And then it hits you. You're recording. She tries again not to cry and still doesn't succeed completely. Her quiet sobs sound old and distant, as if her voice is being played off a wax cylinder. Anger boils up in your chest. Just a recording, and here I thought... Mm -hmm. Why does it still feel like it's my fault? Go ahead, ancient recording, cry then. Just a recording, and here I thought... Her sound melts into the static from a long-distance phone call. From time to time, you can hear people talking in the distance, but can't make out any words. This is where you hung up the call the last time, but the recording is still going. Keep listening. The phone rings in the office with an old-fashioned chime, and someone walks by in a pair of heels. The static is like a warm blanket wrapped around the sounds. Is anybody there? No one replies, but the static grows stronger like rainfall. Then a female voice speaks out, completely different from the one before. Glorious and total somehow, crawling inside your head. For 300 years, I have been here. Volatile and luminous, made of sodium and rain. If you want me, you can find me on the beach. Dona Zernebal. Soul. The strange alien thought pattern ends. The lieutenant cuts in, inspecting the intercom. Dawn's in the dernier ball. In the dernier... Is that like... Behind or rear? Dernier. Dernier. It's, 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 it's giving me definitions in French. It's not helping me. What is Dernier? Final. In the final ball translation to English, please. Last ball? Gonna be in the last dance. The last act, maybe? It was a recording trapped in the circuitry from some ancient tenant. This sometimes happens. Shall we conclude here? We have other mysteries to solve. Wait, a recording trapped in the circuitry. Mm-hmm. I don't have time to explain it to you right now. Maybe sometime later. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He looks at the sea almost wistful. Something weird just happened to me. Don't take this the wrong way, but during our short stint working together, Something weird is almost always happening to you. That is true. 